Hello everyone, welcome back to Life is Strange. Today we're going to be beginning the episode 4. So, let's uh, let's get to it, shall we? Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Mac? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Coffee, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, alright? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Oh boy. Now, according to my boy O'Declan, <laughs> and not just him, but also uh, Lottie, they've both said that this is where the feels trip begins and I am I am very very concerned <sighs> I'm not ready for this Sorry if you can hear my computer fans going crazy, like, they're just getting worse. I'm hoping to get it fixed soon, but hopefully it's, it's, it's not as bad as it normally is, so that's something, I guess. Oh boy, this is going to be an adventure. An adventure I'm not looking forward to doing. Well, that one's been in a few fights. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. 
You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Damn. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. Well, that's... I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But Whoa. None of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. <coughs> Whole world just went, like, flip side. Jesus. That's crazy. Oh, this is gonna be an adventure, and I'm not gonna like it. It's the time for your night. I started about. But him is gonna go till about three thirty, three thirty-five, more or less. Oh, I can already feel it in my bones. I'm like an old person when they feel the winter coming. They just feel it in their bones. It's like, I know something bad is going to happen. It's going to get really bad really quick. It's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, you know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. 
You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Um, uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Alrighty. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Whoa. Snow globes are taking over. On that little miniature New York one, that's cool. Hello, Chloe. She likes fluffy animals now. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. That's pretty depressing. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. There's the old Chloe. Whoa. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Chloe is still a punk out. It's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Cool. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but... It, man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Gas mask optional. <laughs> Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. Seems like we were kids in our own life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. <laughs> I'm in a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make you right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. <laughs> I know this is a dumb question, but... Are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though. Or get in any teen trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Typical America right there. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. You are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like we would spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Chris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. 
Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when you watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Well then. That must be her mighty morphine machine. <laughs> the mighty morphine. No more bombs for her. Thanks. I think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Oh yeah, like a gust of wind can create a hurricane or something like that. It's another version of it I've heard. Nothing but medical supplies. A soup! She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Ew. Uh. Oh, yeah. there's a giant TV here. So here's the DVD player. Now I just. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power. Wow. Ah, here's the DVD. Whoa, there. No, not the... Oh my god. The, n n n n n n n Use the DVD player. Come on, now. Model shading's a bit weird in this thing. Hmm. Okay, about halfway through the episode, I guess. The next morning. fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. And do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Huh. Okay. Chloe's message board since the act. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. I wasn't very available to Chloe. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Hmm. 
Well... This insurance is worthless. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> oh my God, I think it's great for Chloe. He's such a dork. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. It's a real nightmare for a family. Mm. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. You could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? Wow. Hmm? I have wow. to if Chloe needs anything. Really? It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Wow, what a door. I want to look around for like some of those photo opportunities so I don't have to do as many no when I replay just through. Anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Choices of food coupon boss. Mm, doesn't look like this much. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. They're drowning in debt. Just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wow. The room is actually empty. Jesus.
They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. That doesn't look likely. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Toys? I kind of want to open this and... Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around it. I never heard much about William's brother. Sit here and have a, have some thoughts. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. Mm. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again. <laughs> Who am I to judge? Well, it, you did cause it. To be completely fair. I guess we stopped growing up together. At least we never had to hide from step douche. <laughs> Blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Oh, it totally is a no. It's totally not a coincidence. Nah, nah, it wouldn't be. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Oh, it's dark in here. Nothing here. Cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. The bathroom looks almost the same, just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. That's How's it going, depressing. Time Tripper? Funny, I think I look older. Anything else we can do up here? Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when we were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. It's a good point. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, <laughs> Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she, she... Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, Joyce. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. Well, that's depressing. I have to tell you... How much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they bang up on poor old me. <laughs> you choice. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. That was the truth even before the time warp. So, 
What do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. <laughs> Plus, you guys have to work, too. Oh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Wow. Oh, no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Oh no. Okay. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Well, oh no, 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 fuck. God damn it. Ah. Uh. Good morning, Max. I'm gonna skip back through it all again. Ah, uh, I can't believe I did that. No more. I'm about to end the episode anyway. I think I'll leave it before I go hand in this morphine. That'll be the start of the next episode, I think. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I... I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. Mm. Sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. I will. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, no. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shut up. Shut up. And away we go to the next episode. So I hope you all enjoyed. Um, Lottie and Declan were both right. This episode has, well, it certainly hasn't been very cheerful, to say the least. So we'll resume next time. Peace.